good boy to we. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another way to get him used to the crate and knowing that it's okay to be in your crate with the door shut or unshut. So the first step is to have him in there and just be giving him these little rewards. This is the first phase of um, the crate training. So lots of or re crate training now that he's has his own feelings about his crate. Jinga, go back up on the couch. My dog is wanting to play. Jinga, go up. Lay down. It's not your turn. Lay down. Down. Sit. And stay. Thank you. You stay in your place. Good job, Chewy. So, um, Chewy is past this phase, but I wanted to just show you in case maybe when he's in a new environment or back to his environment in home, um, he may need this phase again for, you know, just a second and then he'll catch on. So he's doing really good. He laid down. He's very calm. So now the next phase that you'll move into is phase two, which is um, instead of constantly giving him treats, he'll get treats every five to 10 seconds, depending on where that baseline is. So let's see. Um, let's find out where his baseline is and we'll, we'll wait. Okay, so I counted to about 15 and he's still very calm. So phase two, I would say he's he has already mastered. Um, he catches on very quickly, but that's phase two of this. So he's, he's very calm, just on his own, sitting right next to him. So he's comfortable and he's getting treats and he hears my voice, so that's good. Um, so we'll, we'll wait, we'll keep him... Very good boy, Chewie. Good job. So that would be phase two. Phase three would be just making it a little bit um, more scary for him. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up, which kind of signals like, well, shoot, she may be leaving me. And that is his biggest fear that I've noticed. So um, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to start giving him more treats again for when he's calm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to walk around. Throwing him some treats. Hopefully you can find them. Good boy, Jinga. Give him some more. It's very good. He is doing great. Great job, buddy. Still looking at me, but that's still a part of his phase is that he sees that it might go away a little bit. But I'm going to come back. I'm not going to leave you forever, right? So that would be that. No crying, no barking, no whining. He, he's calm. He's not really showing any signs of stress, which would be like shaking or yawning. Um, or um, obviously the, the barking um, or standing, anything like that. But he's just sitting and he's pretty calm. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to leave the room for a very, very short amount of time. So good boy, you're doing awesome. I'm gonna walk out so he cannot see me. And I'm gonna walk right back. Good job, buddy. Good quiet. Good job. Now I was gone for a split second and I noticed he was standing when I came back. So that shows that this is probably the phase that he's on right now. Um, if I was gone any longer, we may have started to hear the barking and showing more signs of stress. So we'll do it again and I, I won't be gone for long. So there you saw that he showed the signs of stress because I was gone. Um, if he barks, you don't want to come back. You want to wait until you have five seconds of just quiet behavior. So this is good behavior. This is really good. Good sitting. So I'm going to leave. He's going to start barking and I'm not going to come back until I have about five seconds of some type of um, sign that shows he's quiet. So I'm going to go out of his sight again. Jinga, good job waiting. You stay there. Be right back. So it 
was short amount of time that he stopped barking, but we, we got to take what we can get at this point and then um, we'll keep going from there. So this is really good that you can for you to practice with him at home. Um, just, you know, you can start at the first phase or you can go right to this. He's definitely ready for it. Um, I would encourage you to be patient. Something like this can take a long time, especially for puppies at his age because um, for, for as old as he is, separation anxiety is extremely common. Um, he does probably have a little more of an extreme case of it as most than most puppies, but um, but still it is like a common phase they go through at this point. So um, it, it will take a bit of time, but if you can do this with him at least once a day, uh, he'll start to relearn in his head that, you know, she leaves and she comes back and I'm fine in my crate. I'm totally fine. So um, we'll do it one more time and then um, I'll end it and we'll do something else. Okay, sit down. I'll be right back. You wait here. learner he'll he's smart he'll pick up on the fact that um when i'm quiet she comes back and that's the game that he'll start to learn i'm sorry i haven't given you a treat for waiting have I? <coughs> you're doing very good okay jinga go back up go back up lay down lay down it's not your turn lay down <laughs> 